Hi guys, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to my channel today. Today is going to be part one of my haul for July. Um, so this one I'm going to pretty much show you the supplies that I got and kind of where they came from and stuff. It's been like a collection of things. Um, I'm hoping I can get to this video. Uh, my son is talking really loud in the other room, so hopefully it's not too bad, but we'll get started here in just a minute. Okay, I paused my video and kind of closed my door a little bit, so hopefully we don't have nearly the amount of noise. But um, first thing I'm going to show you guys is I got these. These are the Shuttle Art 100 plus 1 blender markers. And these ones are like this. They're like the Teo trees. They're small. They um, have a broad and a fine end. And so that's what you're kind of looking at. If you can see that. And I know the bigger shuttle arts had a problem with yellowing. So I'm hoping they've corrected their formula so these ones don't have a problem with yellowing. But um, I picked up these just to see what I thought of these. The Teo trees are really nice. And um, I also use these wide tie markers. And I like these ones as well. But though, um, So we'll see how these go. And yeah. Kind of slide this back in there. And these were on sale, um, on a lightning sale, I think. And so that's why I decided to pick them up. Because I'm a marker girl, I like to use markers. But I like to use everything, so I'm basically a mixed media wonder. Anyway, <laughs> uh, next thing I want to share with you is I went to the Dollar Tree. Let me just take out some things here. And I got some of these. So they're little bins that look like this. And I got I got a total of seven of them. I've already used a couple. Uh, these are perfect for like pens. You can put your gel pens in them. You can put your fine liners in them. They're like the perfect size for a lot of things. You could even put your alcohol markers in them. They're like, I really like them a lot. And the reason why I like them is once you put the lid on, they have these clamps that clamp the lid on so that if you tip it over and you shake it, nothing's going to come out. And so I really like these containers. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with all of them. I was thinking, well, maybe I'll go through all my alcohol markers and just break them down in color instead of um, by brand because I never when I color I don't go by brand I usually just pick the colors I need whether that be Caliard or Ohuhu or whatever it doesn't matter to me what the brand is I just want the color that I need so yeah I wondered about separating them but I'm not sure if I want to do that um, while I was at the Dollar Tree, I saw these little post-it notes. They have a little light bulb on them. I actually saw these on Spicy Cat Colors. Uh, she found two different types, but I, my Dollar Tree only had this type. And they're from Jot. And I go through sticky notes. And these bigger ones are nicer so you can write more information down. So I picked up some of those. They had... Um, these crayons at uh, the Dollar Tree, there's just an eight count. These are called uni crayons. And I thought that that was kind of cute, kind of like unicorn, unipuppy, unikitty, you know, things like that. And I don't know if they're different colors than normal. Let me look. Give me just a second to open this. I heard a door open, hang on just a sec. 
Okay, I had to pause my video for a second, but I'm just wondering if the colors, so red orange is a normal color. Let's see. There's gold, silver, carnation pink. So these are normal colors that you'd find in a regular Crayola. Well, not like a standard 24 pack, but um, I think these colors would be in like a 64 or a 96 pack. I can get them back in the box. There we go. So maybe they just picked these colors because they thought that they were unicorn inspired colors. And then I got this one, which is the metallic crayons. And it comes with eight assorted colors. So these are supposed to be shiny, I guess. But when you go to the Dollar Tree and you see things like this, you might as well pick them up and give them a shot, right? The next thing that I picked up is I picked up some of this. This is the Crafters Square deco tape. Again, I saw these on Kathy's channel and I was like, oh, I should go check mine and see if they have any. And so they just had these three. And this one has cactuses, looks like some kind of, I think this is, has tacos and hearts limes and like a sparkle each one has sparkles but I know for a fact the these sparkle ones I really enjoy and I and I ran out of the red because I had gotten the red in the past and I like the width of these because a lot of times if you don't get a lot of border um, area in a book this is the perfect width for this each of them have five in them so that is those three. Okay guys, next thing I have to show you is picked up these. These are um, zebra, their gel pens. There's a pink and a purple. They didn't have any other colors, they just had these. And I'm a big gel pen goer. And zebra is an excellent brand. I love their products. It's just so much fun. I think I actually have a little zebra that I got with some gel pens in the past. And this is a 0.7. So it's not gonna be super heavy flow, but it's not gonna be really fine either. So that will be okay. For a dollar, you might as well, right? And next thing I got at the dollar store, I picked up some stickers well this is rub on transfers um, I really like all the pineapples on here I thought they were cute and this, they have funny sayings like you're a fine apple may your days be fruitful I just thought they were kind of cute and so I picked these up and then I I don't know what I'll use these for, but I really thought these stickers were cute. These are camping stickers, and some of them have been kind of lifted to give a 3D effect. I love this camping one with the watermelon. I love that one. And the tent is really cute. So if like, I guess if I was doing a background and I wanted to create like a camping scene, I could put a tent back there. Or this pizza one, you could, put down like they're having a slice of pizza and a cold drink of beer or something like that. Yeah, that one was really fun. I just couldn't resist to get those. I really thought they were cute. And then I picked up some of these gemstone stickers. I picked up hearts and circles and I didn't, they had lots of different colors, but since I really like yellow, um, I just picked the yellows and I figured I can use them for accenting a page or accenting mandalas and yeah I like um, little gemstone stickers they're fun to play with and then I think let's see, I got these at the dollar store as well these are um, just jot gel pens um, six piece count 
Uh, these are the, this is like the perfect little pack if you have a small book and you just need something for travel and you can burn through these pretty fast. I was hoping that they would have had other colors, but this is the only one they had, so I just got those. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> oh, I forgot a crayon. Um, so I got the neon crayons, too. I have... I I've gotten the neon crayons in the past, and when I got home and opened the box, all of my crayons were melted. So I, I picked up another box just to see how these work. So these will be fun to play with. There's only eight in here, like the other packs. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep thinking there's something in my throat. I'm just looking to see if I have any more things from the dollar store just so I can break it up a little bit. I got four of these baskets. They have little holes in them. Um, I think that they're perfect for storing things. One of the things that I like about these baskets the most is if you get three M hooks that have the little hooky thing, you can hook them in these holes or even on the side holes or whatever, and you can place them on your wall. It's hard to show you, but you could hang them on the hooks on your wall, so you could actually stack your baskets on your wall for organizing. So if you need to organize things by your desk, and say you're in an apartment or a dorm or something like that, and you can't hammer things into a wall, you could use 3M strips and use baskets like this with the holes and hang them on the 3M strips and put your art supplies in it. So I wanted to just share something like this with you because I know people are always looking for organizing techniques. And right now I'm doing a lot of organizing and remodeling in my house. And so we've been picking up a lot of things that can make things easier and less clutter in our house. So I just wanted to show that. I. I picked up four of those baskets because you never know when you can use some kind of basket organizer. All right, next thing I got, um, I got at Walmart, and this one was totally enabled by Lauren Loves Color. Um, I picked up the 96 crayons. Um, to get these on Amazon, you have to buy a two set, I think, and it's like 15, 16 bucks. But if you go to Walmart or a grocery store right now, especially with back to school shopping going on, um, you can get these for about $5. So I would recommend checking your local supermarket. And it does come with a little sharpener in the back. I'm not sure if I'll use that, but um, yeah. I need to organize mine. I'm going to retape this though and open it like a regular crayon box that opens like this. And I opened it just to make sure none of them were broken or, um, Mom, Mom, there's a body shh, quiet, please. Sorry. My son busted through. But I'm going to retape it and I'll organize these in color family so it'll be easier for me to find things. Um, Lauren showed a video how she shaded with crayons in her um, miniature books. And also um, I like to use crayons for kind of the old school style where you outline a hard line with a Crayola super tip and then color in the inside with a crayon. That's one of those things that I used to do when I was a kid. So it's kind of fun to step back and be a child at heart and use some crayons. All right, so everything else is from Amazon. And I'll start with these. These are the Prismacolor Premier um, brush tip markers. I absolutely love the Prismacolor Premier markers. Um, honestly, I would rather have a full set of Prismacolor Premier brush tip markers than Copic markers. 
I, I don't know, maybe I'm weird, <laughs> but I just really like these markers. Um, I have the regular, I have a few of the regular chisel, but I really wanted to have the brush ones because I, I'm a big fan of brush markers. The nice thing about this particular marker is it has a brush and then the fine. Most of our brush markers that we're familiar with, like this one, like the Cali Art, has a brush and a chisel. And um, I think that a brush stroke can go very thick. And so having this fine point, I think, is very nice and very convenient. If you want a chisel, then you would get the chisel marker. So, yeah, I picked these up at, because they were on a lightning sale and it brought the price down really cheap. So, yeah, I had to get them. Next thing I picked up is I got a little tiny box of the Caran d'Ache uh, Neo Color 2s. Um, I do have the Lyra Aquarelles uh, crayons, but I know a lot of people use the Neo Color 2, and I really wanted to compare them for myself to see what I like better. And I don't want to commit to buying a big set unless I know I absolutely love these. So I just bought a little tiny box of the 10. And so these just have the standard colors. Standard color pack. Next thing I got, these were on sale. These are called the Tombow Mono Edge Dual Tip Highlighters. And these are actually kind of cool. Um, I did open them already. And I did swatch them on a piece of paper, but I don't know where I put the paper at the moment. They do have the color name on here. So this is golden yellow. And so they have a highlighter end that looks like that. And then they have a fine end. Looks like that. Which I think these will be really fun to color like a mandala in. Or something that I want to be super bright. And I noticed when I did um, color them on a piece of paper... They're really juicy pens or markers or whatever you want to call them. They are highlighter, but they're these could be used for coloring. And yeah, very fun. These are the Tombow Mono Edge. And this um these were on sale on Amazon for like six dollars. Next thing I got are these. These are the Stylo Dual Metallic Gel Pens. And I've been kind of on this kick where I want to try out dual metallic gel pens. They look like this. Haven't tested these out yet because they just barely came. But um, I'm a gel pen addict. And I love anything that sparkles. So these will be fun to play with. Um, comes with six eight eight pens and they weren't incredibly expensive so I thought yeah I'll give them a shot and they were um, on Amazon if I can close them I guess it doesn't matter because I'll be taking them out anyway so there's those next I picked up these you guys know that I love my um, King's Art gel sticks. These are basically gel sticks as well. And the plastic's coming off. I might as well take it off so it's not like glaring you guys in the face anyway. But um, if I can. Here we go. I thought I would give these ones a try. These are called the Rainbow Sparkle Watercolor Gel Crayons. Um, bright metallic colors. But then uh, these are by Uli. And um, I saw on the reviews, people had swatched them out. They kind of looked a little shimmery, like um, kind of like they had glitter in them. So I really wanted to get this set. I've had this kind of been eyeing this for a while um, just so that I could play with them. Because I, they just look like a lot of fun to play with. So definitely wanted to pick these up. 
next thing I got is the Pio Chu <laughs> um, brush pens, uh, 10 count. Now, um, I have used the Pio Chu uh, gel pens, and they are really fun and really nice gel pens. So these were the ones that I had, and I have almost used all of my Pio Chu gel pens up because I really liked them. And so I figured this would work. I saw this um, Raya Colors posts these Amazon deals on YouTube. And occasionally I look through to see if there's anything I'm interested. And this was on one of them, I think last week. And I was like, oh, it's just another pen, no big deal. But then when I looked at it, they're water proof ink and they're little brush pens. They're not, it's not a, like a fine pen. It, it's like an actual little tiny, tiny brush tip. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, I thought, oh, that would be awesome. I think people use these for calligraphy, but I thought these would be perfect for getting into the fine details. And if they're water-based, that's even better because then you could use them in double-spaced books. And um, if they're not water-based and they're just good for um like if they don't bleed through when you use water-based markers um that would be nice too because you don't want them to run you don't want pens to run and i know the microns are excellent for you could use watercolor over them and it won't smear the black ink now if these are similar like you can put watercolor over it and it won't smear this ink that would be awesome so this is the Pio Chu brush pens. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you is in this case, uh, this case I did not buy. This was gifted to me and um, I put these in it because I've already used these. I swatched them out. Um, so I know that, uh, what is it? Coloring Diva pick these up as well. It's like a two pack and um, they're called, mm -mm, there's 12 colors in these. What's the company? Conlink. So they call them a glitter gel pen, a 3D glitter gel pen. They're not glittery. I'll be honest with you, even though they're very glittery caps and everything, they're not glittery at all, but they give off this really cool effect like a jelly roll glaze pen okay i have i have them swatched out here so these are the mono edge that i already showed you these were the prisma pro markers that i showed you these con link gel pens these two is um these so they're not sparkly as you can see they they are they do raise up kind of like a a jelly roll uh, glaze pen so if you are interested in these they're around five dollars and it does come with like a, a cleary white color you could put over like jars and stuff um, my favorite color is is this one i think it's like a mermaid, a mermaid greeny blue color, blue green color. So yeah, I knew that I had swatched them out. But yeah, I picked these up because they were only about five bucks. And I thought if they're even a little bit comparable to the Jelly Roll Glaze from Sakura, I definitely want to try them because they're just a good deal. So yeah, and I'm just putting them in my little sweet as a melon case here. Next thing I have, so people said, oh, you just got it. You keep buying all these dual metallic pens. You just need to try the Pentel ones. And I was like, oh, fine. I will commit to it. And so I picked up these ones that you get on Amazon. And comes with uh, violet, 
So these are the Pentel Dual Metallic. There's gold. This is the black and metallic red. And green and metallic blue. Blue and metallic green. This one is the orange and metallic yellow. And this one's the silver. And this one is the pink and metallic pink. So it came with all of these and I can't wait to try them. I haven't even swatched them out yet. And there was another uh, dual, uh, Pentel dual metallic thing on Amazon. There was like two separate ones and they recommended you buy both. And I thought, oh, then those must be different colors, like another different set of them. So I was like, okay, I'll get the other set as well. Well, I got the other set as well, and they're exactly the same. So basically, <laughs> I have the same pen twice, I guess you could say. Yeah, there's the violet. See how they're the same? Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. They shouldn't advertise these twice as two different products because they're exactly the same. And they were different prices too. So it made me think, oh, okay. Um, they're different pens, but guess not. <laughs> I guess this is what happens. You don't read the fine details, but I guess now I have duplicates, which is not necessarily a bad thing. So I have loads of the original dual metallic um, Pentel gel pens. So yeah, those will keep me busy for a minute. Maybe sometime I'll find those other colors, but in the meantime, those will keep me busy. Um, next thing I got since I was looking at Pentel I picked up these. Uh, these were on sale. These are Pentel Art Color Pens, Fine Points. And I think these are fiber tip. There's 36 of them. Um, it doesn't say. I haven't seen these on a lot of channels, so I'm not exactly sure. People like them or don't like them. Let's open one. I don't. I don't see a problem with them. I just figured I'd give them a shot. They remind me of something that's old school that's been around forever, and they have an excellent color range. So yeah, I like this case. Definitely reminds me of something that was back in the eighties. Yeah, so I got those, the Pentel Arts color pens. And then I picked up these. These are the um, Mango Oil Pastel. These are extra soft, water soluble. And I definitely wanted to pick oil pastels that are water soluble because um, you can use them like the King's Art Gel Sticks and the Neo Colors and things like that. And these are the pearl colors, so there's 24. Now I ordered the regular ones as well. They just haven't arrived yet. Uh, so I have a couple oil pastels that I ordered to go with this, but they just aren't here yet. And they should come today, but they haven't gotten here yet. So there's these. And I think I will be doing a video very soon when I do my collections of my pencils and markers and just different things. I think I will include uh, gel crayons and oil pastels and all that stuff in one video so that people can see what's out there and decide if that is right for them. So I picked up these and those other ones that aren't here yet. Just move these pins. Uh, 
And then the final supply item, just checking, that um, I picked up was this. Let me just grab it. This pencil case. This is a jumbo one. Um, it, it, I think it holds 300. I really like this oceany design. It's really pretty. And the reason why I wanted to pick up this monster case is I have always kept my jelly rolls in a like an Easter basket next to my desk. And I felt like I never could find the color that I needed at the time that I needed it. And so I just kind of faked it. And I thought this would be great to house all of my jelly rolls plus all of the things that are knockoff jelly rolls or similar to a jelly roll. So I will show you how I kind of organize them because I already did this and I counted everything out before I ordered this case. So I knew that I would have a big enough case. So as you can see here, I have lots of the gold ones right here and these are just a um, like a plain gold. These are uh, knockoff brands. These are the Arteza because the Arteza are shaped very much like a jelly roll. Here's a whole bunch of the yellow moonlights um, ranging from the 0.6 to the 10. Here's some white ones. I've got all my orange, my red, my pink, purple. Um, these are the, the dollar store ones. So knockoff brand and as you can see I've just arranged them in color order so that I can find everything I need and I did notice as I was looking through things when they have a sparkle cap like this those are metallics they're not the sparkly ones when they're clear like this these are the sparkly ones now if you have a cap like this and they have little sparkly ends like this and the sparkly ends are kind of gold these are the pens that you color out and they are blue when you color them out but then they turn gold as they dry and if they have a sparkly end that's silver I think this one is silver like this these ones when they dry they dry silver so um, I noticed that when I was um, going through everything because many times I will pull a pen and I don't know what I'm getting. And so with this all organized like this, it will make it 10 times easier for me to find the color that I actually want to use when I'm coloring and also the size because um, the 06 is much smaller of a flow than the 10 and they both serve a purpose so yeah I definitely want to do that and of course the souffle pens they are more pastel shades but they flow differently than a regular Sakura jelly roll it, they're just different I I would recommend the souffle pens if you're doing things that are soft like cotton candy clouds things that you want kind of a puffy exterior I guess you could say so yeah I had to get me a case to house my my jelly roll collection which is very large but I do use them up and I just replenish my stash and I you can't go wrong with jelly rolls I really love those gel pens but that is pretty much my supplies um, the only thing that I can think of that I got that I ha hasn't arrived are those oil pastels that should arrive today that I, I haven't shown you yet. And I did order another pack of the Spree 50 brush pens because they were on sale today on a limited sale for like $9.69 or something like that on Amazon. So I ordered a second set of those. But that is all for the supplies that I have to show you. And then I will be doing my book haul very soon. And there is a ton of books, guys. Um, I've been under a lot of stress, so I tend to overspend on books. <sighs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> so I will definitely um, have that video up for you guys very soon and I will see you guys next time if you have questions about any of the supply items that you saw in this video be sure to ask me in the comment section I am NOT an Amazon affiliate so I don't always provide links in my description but if um, if there's a product that you specifically want, just tell me and I will look back in my purchase history and I will find it and share the product with you. Of course, I can't share the dollar store stuff, but I can share the things that I purchased on Amazon. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.